Hello everyone, this is Martin Patella for a Life Enthusiast coming to you over the internet with our radio, TV and galactic network. We are, I'm sure, beaming all the way to the uh, other stars. And with the star today, <laughs> Elijah Free, Master Herbalist at Earth Friend Herbs. Hello, Elijah. Hi, Martin. Um, I want to mention if uh, people want to hear about our website or read more, please go to earthfriendherb, singularly there, dot com, and you can see all of our wonderful products. You can click on any one of those, by the way. That takes you right to uh, Life Enthusiast, and that's where you purchase those. Right. We do have a page dedicated to Earth Friend and all of their products, too, on the life-enthusiast.com. So you can catch us about trying to keep it up to date both ways. Great. So wonderful to be here today. Thank you so much, Martin. Awesome. Hey, uh, we were talking about tonics. We were talking about the uh, classical herbal education that you have taken with John Christopher and, uh, and how some of the products you designed were old-fashioned tonics. Yeah, we've got um, our digestes and our kidney bladder to talk about those. Now, tonic herbology is probably the oldest form of herbology in the world. We find that all around the world with that. Um, <clears throat> the form of tonic herbology in this country originally came from our Native American uh, brothers and sisters in this country. Dr. Samuel Thompson, who is the considered the father of modern Western herbal medicine, studied with them in the 17 and 1800s. On that, he's written several manuscripts and books, which are very difficult to find. Usually you have to go into the library into the stacks and find them. But Dr. John R. Christopher, who probably modernized and popularized herbology, who passed on a number of years ago. As a note, when Dr. Christopher died, Nature's Way hired me for a short while, actually, to take his place in lecturing, which was a very wonderful thing. But I really wanted to work in my own line at the time, and they wanted me to travel. And I had two young little kids, one a baby, and that wasn't really a sort of an option at that time. So tonic herbology, what it does, Martin, it goes right into the cellular structure and rebuilds on a cellular level. It's not a fast process, tonic herbology, because it's building new cells at a paradigm of metabolic, which is building, in relation to catabolic, which is coming apart or falling down or not doing well. So the first one, they're digestees. The original design of this happened sometime back in the 80s. On it. Um, I have been studying tonic herbology. Some of the first things that anyone ever designs will be digestive formulas on that. So at that time it was called Barberry LG Tonic, LG meaning liver gallbladder. And at that time, often the style of naming the formula was you would use the main herb in it. So it was like Barberry Tonic or Golden Seal this or something on that order. So when we then begin to standardize our names and label, we went to digestees. So the formula, basically, if you're having a weak digestion, this one is something that will help you to rebuild a much stronger digestion over a period of time. It helps to actually rebuild liver tissue. I have seen people with up to half their liver on taking this formula that their liver actually grows back. I've seen that numerous times happen with people on that. Livers do regenerate, this helps to do it faster. One of the other major things this does, which is so important, is its ability to work with the gallbladder. That's where we get the big G in there on it. It isn't just liver and digestion. Uh, people lose their gallbladders. Sometimes they have different types of diseases like coleosteasis, where it actually begins to fall apart and slough off. People get uh, gallstones. This helps to actually break down and eliminate the gallstones into an incredibly fine whatever, and then it goes out through the body very nicely. On it, if you have gallstones, you take it over a period of time, it helps to actually uh, help with that condition. It cleans out the bile ducts in both of the organs, the liver and the gallbladder, helps the digestion, and over a period of time will increase the person's ability to actually begin to assimilate. So it's a very basic formula but it's very important. I take it twice a year. I never fail to take it twice a year for usually about three months to clear up my digestive tract. And when you say take it twice a year, you mean you take what, six bottles and run? Well, I do it for about three months, three months. The average bottle lasts two weeks. 
on it. Well, um, six bottles, just like yes. I just. That's not right on that. And um, I do that just to take and clean up my digestive tract. Also, one of the other things about this, if you take it for three months, you'll get the same effect. In fact, a better effect than if you did uh, one of those big liver purges, which I am so not a fan of. I don't like drastic things in the body, you know, the big liver purges. So this will actually do a remarkably effective job very gently. And at the same time, unlike a liver purge, what it does is when it's cleared out, the problem's still there. This will clear it slowly and then fix the problem at the same time. Wonderful. So somebody who is identified as having uh, clogged and stuffed gallbladder, they mm -hmm. should run six bottles of this and run through it, yes? Yeah, this has saved a lot of people from gallbladder surgery and from losing their gallbladders. I really have to say that. One last thing is if you do not have a gallbladder, this actually, there's an herb in there called greater celandine. And I just have to tell you the Latin name because it sounds like something out of Harry Potter. Are you ready? The Latin name of greater celandine, Chalodonia magus. Okay, you just know something happened. <laughs> you go, Chalodonia magus. You really know something happened. So anyhow, uh, the Chalodonia magus in there, the greater celandine, actually will take the place of the gallbladder and help you to digest the fats that you've been having trouble with. So and would you be taking it right before the meal? You take it about five, in that case, you take it five minutes before your meals. Uh, this is one, thank you, Martin. I actually, out of uh, the other ones, it doesn't matter. But with the digest, I usually suggest five to 10 minutes before meals because it will help you to assimilate better while it's in your system. Oh, oh the God. other thing, fantastic for stuck gas. Oh my God. It is wonderful for stuck gas also in those type of tummy aches from there. All right. And uh, does it do anything for the burpers too? Yeah, it helps to, uh, with that. It depends, a lot of times with burping, what happens is there's a small herniation here, um, right at the xiphoid process underneath the um, vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. That's the most common cause of um, uh, serial burping. Yeah, well, I, mean, I find that when we strengthen people's sort of digestive power, but it's, it's not for this talk, but yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. now you, you wanted to also talk about the kidney. Kidney bladder formula. Okay, so I could tell a quick story with this one. So I'm at a restaurant one day, and there's this woman watching me. I'm with my wife, and she's with two other people. She's a little younger. And she keeps looking at me and looking at me and stuff. And my wife says, that woman's watching you. I says, well, of course. I says, don't all women watch me. I'm sorry. Ah. I just had to put that in there. That was my line to my wife, which, of course, caused her to laugh pretty good. So... Anyhow, this woman keeps looking at me, you know, and I'm going, okay. So finally, she's done eating. She gets up and she walks over to the table and looks at me for a moment. She gets all teary-eyed. And I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> you never know. With me. So she says, are you Elijah Free? She goes, I think I met you once. I says, yes. And then I'm realizing she looks a drop familiar. She tears up and she says, you saved my life. And I'm sitting there, my wife's looking at me and she's going, she says, could you tell us more? And she says, well, she goes, I bought, I was uh, dismissed from Stanford University with a, um, a, a kidney disease. And I was told that my kidneys were dying and that I would die with them because of the type of disease, I was not eligible for a um, transplant. And so um, they told me to go home, put my affairs together and that's it. So she said she went to the local um, natural doctor over here who at that time was using my products and he gave her the kidney bladder formula. Well, her kidneys healed, <laughs> but she had never met me, but she had seen pictures of me. So that was the time she met me. And every so often she buys some, I think now she buys it from you, Martin. She says she takes it once a year and she's perfectly fine. She did go back to Stanford, I guess, and had a few words with the doctor that told her to go home and die, considering she was saved by a bottle that caused her called cost her what twenty dollars you okay, know so how many bottles and how often for a person oh i have no idea with that one truthfully on it but truthfully uh kidney bladder stuff half an eye dropper three times a day and drink a lot of water with it it's great okay. for all kinds of kidney bladder problems infections uh, all got all sorts of stuff and buildups. It cleans out kidney stones. It does all kinds of wonderful things hold on that's not not something to gloss over cleans oh up. no 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 it does kidney stones very nicely. Now, there are two kinds of kidney stones I know of. The calcification or the phosphate uh, doesn't matter either way? It doesn't matter. Do them all. Huh. Yeah. Okay. 
And yeah. what about people who are having to get up too many times a night to go? That yeah. helps. You know, I've been thinking of actually doing, we have something separate for that, that I yeah. sell in my yeah. I'm office. thinking it's different because it's mostly histaminic, right? What's that? Because the, the urination urge is mostly histaminic in nature. Well, there's, oddly enough, there's a single herb that does it that we use, white pondoli, which is in there also. But a single concentration of white pondoli, nymphae odorata, actually will cure most any type of enuresis like that or incontinence or nighttime urination. Okay, so long we'll, long we'll have to look forward life. to that because it's a popular problem. If it is, we should talk about that. That's something we could do very easily. All right. In the, uh, in the uh, fall, in the, when we do the new groups in the fall, we could add that in there for you. Make note. And if you're listening to this, uh, remind us that we're supposed to have something for the getting up too many times at night. Anything else you'd like to add about the bladder ease or kidney? Oh, God, bladder? it just works really well on that is all I can really say. All right. That. Um, we have found that kidney infections, bladder infections, uh, oh, especially when women get those um, recurrent bladder infections. Then you have to take it sometimes for up to five or six months. That gets really insidious. You can heal other types of very serious things other than the, sometimes those chronic bladder infections. But then with your other products, we also know a lot of times that's pH and there's a lot of other things going on that a person does that's very deleterious during that time that makes those continue too. Okay. Thank you, Elijah. This is Thank you, Martin. This is Life Enthusiast, Martin Patella, www.life-enthusiast.com. Call me at 866-543-3388. We restore vitality to you and to the planet.